So here I am in the shed. We've done quite a lot over the last couple of weeks and uh, I really am feeling much more like myself, which many of you have commented. Um, so thank you for, for supporting me. And, um, you know, it really helps actually when people say they think I'm more like myself. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm doing okay. Um, so I'm here in the shed. I've actually just put the sprinkler going. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing outside in a moment. But just while I'm in the shed, I've had the loveliest surprise. Um, so the lovely Stu from Petals on the Paving Slabs. If you haven't found his channel already, please go and check him out. He's just the loveliest person and incredibly knowledgeable. Um, and he's kind of starting on his journey again. So please go and find his channel and um, I'll leave a link below. Um, but what I want to say, Stu, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. So I had an unexpected delivery and Stu had actually popped over onto my Amazon wish list. I leave a link for that. Um, never really expecting anything and when I do get the odd little surprise oh it just fills my heart with joy so I can't tell you how how happy it made me I've got these beautiful earrings um which are I don't know if you can see those a sun and a moon and they're just gorgeous can't wait to wear those um some broccoli which I probably will save now um I could direct so but with our slugs so I might save that till next year and again, any of you that know me will know I'm a stickler for being organised. Um, and I'd set my sights on this a while ago, so I popped it in my wish list. It comes with stickers, there's sheets and sheets of stickers, but it's a really lovely. And what I like about this is, obviously there's lots of pages, but it's also double-sided. So you can use each page twice. And it's just simple things, but for people like me that like to make lists, absolutely lovely. So thank you, Stu, so much for hopping onto my wish list, got a little note in there as well, um, and getting me those lovely gifts. I'm really, really grateful. So things I want to do today, I'm going to water my nematodes in. Now I normally wait for either an overcast day or I do it in the evening, but because I've been running out of energy <laughs> and by the end of the day, I've got nothing left. I thought, do you know what? It's actually quite cool today it's hotter than I would normally do them but if I don't get them in they're not going in um, and what I want to do is the bed that I haven't covered I have decided to put the brassicas in so I want to get the nematodes in I want to keep it nicely watered to make it effective and also to really help that soil so that when I do plant into it you know that the soil isn't dry and um, it needs a really good watering because been quite uh, we've had a little bit of rain but um, we have had a bit of a dry spell so let's get that soil nicely watered water in those nematodes I will put some beer traps and I'll also put my brassica netting over it so that's the plan for that bed in the polytunnel everything's looking really good I want to um, give the tomatoes a little feed I've got some seaweed fertilizer so I'll pop around and give the things I think needed but tomatoes definitely and anything else I think needs a little boost uh, the two things I haven't done that I said I was going to was I haven't tested any of my soil I'm just going for it and uh, that's something for um, next spring and I haven't used my super soil but it's sealed up in like a little vacuum seal so I think it'll be fine and because I'm going to be predominantly resting beds over this season I didn't think there was any point in opening it um, to just do part of the bed so again I'm going to save that till spring and hope and hope that that's okay so I want to do get everything watered potter in the polytunnel I still haven't done those hanging baskets so I'm going to do those as well get my um, geraniums into the baskets and also there's a little window box um, that those of you that have followed me will know a little I have put a little blue tub in that window box on the shed here um, and I usually put some geraniums in that as well so geraniums and tomatoes are my priority and anything else I get done is a bonus This is 
sticky watering can, so I have to use it quick. <laughs> of the woodshed there and the other one on the corner of the woodshed in with the chickens but while I'm here let's just turn the camera around so this is a bed and um, climbing frame that we Chris and I built goodness me right back not long after we moved here and I used to have my sweet peas and my nasturtium growing up that and um, I let it get completely full of nettles and so I haven't planted anything in it this year. So drop me some suggestions in the comments below. What do you think I could get going and get up that frame in that bed this year as we're already a little bit late on? Even if it's not sowing seeds, I could potentially nip to a, a local garden centre and buy something. So suggestions please as to what i could grow up that frame so i'm not going to bore you with showing you me doing the nematodes i'm sure you will know if you use them and i have done videos previously so if you check back if you haven't used them before and you want to know how um, i'll leave one of them up here if i remember i'm a little bit rubbish when i'm editing at the moment i keep forgetting to put the things in that i say i'm going to and um, so if i forget to put it in uh, just check back. I have got um, a how to use nematodes, but I think most of you know. And as I say, if you're new to them, check out my video or, or check out somebody else's. Um, so I'm pleased with what I've got done. Um, the tomatoes have had a good feed. I have also given some feed to the bed that I'm sitting on, but not the bed with the root vegetables in it um, and the big long bed and i'm thrilled to get those geraniums out so jane and or mike if you happen to be watching from the lovely jane's growing garden those are geraniums that they gifted to me um last year and i've overwintered them and they're back out and it's always quite a significant moment for me once those geraniums go out i kind of feel that summer's summer's allowed to happen now um, and I'm really looking forward to them. When I haven't got hanging baskets on those sheds and in my little window box, the geraniums, um, it makes me sad. So that makes me really happy. So last thing I need to show you, I was just about to wind it down, is what I've been up to outside.
decided to just keep dormant. I've weeded them, I've covered them with card, and now I've mulched them, as you will have seen, with grass clippings from when we mow the garden. So that's gonna mulch down, and then as I've mentioned before, these beds are gonna be dormant now until spring really next year. But this bed that's in front of me, let's move the camera. So this bed here is where I'm going to put the brassicas this year. Um, and I haven't grown brassicas in this bed before, so that'll probably be quite a good thing. And then other things we've been up to, I'll pop some footage in for you is, I don't know how many of you celebrated D-Day. Um, it's something that's very important to us. And we joined in with the local village celebrations. It was absolutely lovely. If you follow me on my other social media, so Facebook and Instagram, and there are links below and also in my bio if you want to go and check them out. Um, so those of you that follow me there will have already seen um, some photographs. Uh, but we had such a lovely evening. Chris and I both entered the Bake Off. Um, and those of you that have followed me for a while will know that two years ago I won the Bake Off um, and I got a perpetual challenge bowl. Last year they didn't have an event. Um, it was the Jubilee two years ago. And this year um, I entered again. And alas, I was pipped. I did not win my bowl back, uh, but a lovely lady did. Um, Chris got a highly commended. He made a ration chocolate cake. Um, Thank you so much to the wonderful Jim from the Lake House Garden. Again, check out his channel. Um, he's just wonderful and he really gave me lots of hints and tips um, on how to bake my traditional American apple pie. And the category was um, admirable allies. So to bake something from one of our countries that were our allies. So I thought immediately of America and um, yeah i baked a traditional american apple pie and i really enjoyed it and it tasted delicious but alas um i was the only pie there are a lot of cakes and um, no prize for me this year but it was just lovely so let me know if you um had any celebrations uh, drop me a comment below but thank you so much for watching i'm feeling so much more positive about the garden now and life in general um the plot is progressing again. There's lots going on in the polytunnel. Things are getting planted out and I'm really progressing and I'm actually not as far behind as I thought I would be.